iNav configurator has the magical switch over here. It's called the wireless mode. It's there for very long, it's off by default, and I think that people usually are not setting this thing to on. Finally, after so many years, let me exactly tell you what the wireless mode is and when you should use it. The connection to the flight controller is done with the serial port that provides the bidirectional communication. That means the configuration sends the request to the flight controller called the MSP frame, like for example, give me your status. Flight controller processes the MSP frame and responds to the INAF configurator here is your status. We have bidirectional communication. Serial connections can be bidirectional in two separate ways. One is called the full duplex and the second one is half duplex. What is the full duplex? Is the situation when the transmitter and the receiver and the receiver and the transmitter, two sides of the serial connection can both transmit and receive at exactly the same time because you have two separate wires or medium to exchange data. So that means if there's in this case, when INAF configurator sends a frame, the flight controller can be accepting this frame and at the same time replying to the answer to the previous frame. Full duplex communication goes both ways at the same time. And all the wired connection, including the USB connection, are of course a full duplex serial port. The wireless links are usually half duplex. When one module one side of the ser wireless serial link is transmitting, the second one has to be listening. It cannot transmit at the same time because this would interfere. That means that first configurator sends the request, flight controller gets the data, but will not accept anything on the wireless link, respond, and then only when the configurator got the response to the first frame can Answer, can request a new data from the flight controller. By default, when the wireless mode is not enabled, INAF configurator treats the serial connection to the flight controller as the full duplex connection. It's just requesting data constantly. There's a new frame. As soon as the one frame is finished transmitting, to the flight controller without even the response, it's already transmitting the next frame, the next set of the information. This doesn't work on the wireless links because they are half duplex. They first have to buffer everything and then internally manage of who's transmitting, who's uh, receiving. What wireless mode does in the INAF configurator, it switches the configurator to the half duplex mode. Then, when the half duplex mode, wireless mode is enabled, INAF configurator will send the next frame only after it got the response from the flight controller. That means there is nothing currently on the air. Flight controller is not transmitting any response and the transmitter do not have to buffer ever anything. Thing. This greatly improves the performance of the flight controller over the wireless link, even including the Bluetooth links. Usually, the Bluetooth modules have kind of small buffers and they can be exhausted uh, quite quickly. So, if you are connecting to your INAF flight controller from the INAF configurator over the wire, any kind of the wire, do not enable wireless mode because it doesn't make sense. But if you have the Bluetooth connection or SIG module connection or anything, anything that goes through the radio, enable the wireless mode because then the flight, then, then the INAF configurator will respect the fact that the connection is only a half duplex and will try to get the next piece of the information only after it will get the response from the first one. And that's the whole magic behind the wireless mode.